Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of capital structure. In the previous video, we have seen the second one that is net operating income approach. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to see traditional approach. Okay, now let's get into the video. See, before we see the numerical problem, let us understand what is traditional approach. Okay, otherwise called as trade-off approach. Okay. So, it is an intermediary approach between net income approach and net operating income approach. Okay. So, according to this view, the use of debt up to a point is advantageous. It can help to reduce the overall cost of capital and increase the value of the firm. Okay. So, let's understand this concept with the help of the numerical problem. Let's see the problem. See the problem. ABC Limited furnishes the following details. Ascertain the market value of the company and overall cost of capital okay so we are going to find out v that is value of the company and ko overall cost of capital okay with the available information the first one net operating income that is ebit is 3 lakhs and total investment 10 lakhs so total capital structure of the company is 10 lakhs okay the equity capitalization rate if the company uses no debt 14 percentage so, cost of equity. So, equity capitalization rate means KE. KE is 14 percentage. If the company not using any debt, then the cost of equity is 14 percentage. The second point is, if the company uses a debt of rupees 4 lakhs, then the cost of equity is 15 percentage. The third option is, if the company uses a debt of rupees 6 lakh, then the cost of equity is 16 percentage. So, these are the KE given in the problem according to the debt. Okay. The next one, the debt of 4 lakhs can be raised at 8 percentage. So, this 4 lakh you can raise at the rate of 8 percentage interest. Okay. Why? The debt of 6 lakhs, that is 6 lakhs can be raised at 9 percentage interest rate. Okay. The cost of debt for 4 lakhs is 8 percentage. For the second one is 9 percentage. So, they have given all the informations. With this information, they are asking us to find out market value of the firm and overall cost of capital, okay, according to traditional approach. Now, let's see the solution. See the solution. Statement showing market value of the firm and market value of the equity and overall cost of capital, okay. So, V, S and K, O, okay. See, here we have three different alternatives. No, the first alternative is there is no debt full of equity, okay. And the second one is a 4 lakh debt at the rate of 8 percentage interest. And the next one is a debt 6 lakhs at 9 percentage interest. Okay. So, EBIT is given in the problem 3 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 3 lakhs for 3 different alternatives. And first we need to subtract interest from earnings before interest and tax. So, how much interest? For the first one, no debt, no. So, nil. For the second one, 8 percentage on 4 lakhs, 32,000. For the last option, 9 percentage on 6 lakhs, 54,000. So, after subtracting interest, this is the earnings available to equity shareholders. So, there is no corporate tax. That is an assumption, no. So, after subtracting interest, EBT, that is earnings before tax, its amount which is available to equity shareholders. And now, just take KE value. So, KE means cost of equity that is given in the problem. See the problem. Equity capitalization rate, that is a KE, cost of equity. If the company uses no debt, in case of no debt, 14 percentage. If the company uses debt of 4 lakhs, then KE will be 15 percentage. If the company uses a debt of 6 lakh, then KE will be 16 percentage. So, this is KE, 14 percentage, 15 and 16 percentage. So, with this, we can find out the market value of equity. So, what is the formula for market value of equity? Yes, refers to market value of equity. Okay. So, this is the formula. Earnings available to equity shareholders divided by KE, cost of equity. So, this is given in the problem. No, just substitute the value. You will be getting yes, market value of equity share. 3 lakhs divided by 14 into 100. This is the value. And 268 divided by 15 percentage and 246 divided by 16 percentage. So you will be getting 
market value of equity shares. Okay. The next one is now we can find out the market value of the firm. Firm means V. Okay. So how to calculate V? Equity plus debt is equal to market value of the firm. Okay. We got the value of yes. Now we need to add D. D means debt which is given in the problem. For the first one no debt. So put dash. For the second one how much debt? 4 lakhs. So enter 4 here. For the last option how much debt? 6 lakh. So enter 6 lakh here. Then you will be getting total value of the firm. See we have calculated V. So V refers to value of the firm is equal to S plus D. So S refers to market value of equity share and D refers to market value of debt. So debt is given in the problem and with the help of this formula we have calculated yes. Okay. And this is the value of the firm according to three different alternatives. Okay. So far we have calculated market value of the firm and market value of equity. Now we will move on to the last one overall cost of capital. Okay. So what is the formula for overall cost of capital? KO refers to overall cost of capital. So what is the formula? EBIT. That is earnings before interest and tax divided by value of the firm into 100. Okay. For the first option, EBIT 3 lakhs divided by this is the value of the firm into 100. You will be getting 14 percentage. For the second one, EBIT 3 lakhs divided by total value of the firm. Okay. Into 100, 13.7 percentage. And the third one, EBIT divided by market value of the firm into 100 14.04 percentage okay now let us understand what is traditional approach along with this statement okay see according to traditional approach the use of debt up to a certain point is advantageous it can help to reduce the overall cost of capital and increase the value of the firm it reduces the overall cost of capital and increase the value of the firm. See here. Here we have three different options. No. The first one is no debt. And the second one debt up to 4 lakhs. And the next one debt 6 lakhs. Now just compare the value of the firm. And overall cost of the capital. See the first one. The value of the firm. See if we increase debt that is uh, 4 lakh, It will lead to increase the value of the firm. Just compare these two figures. It is increased. Okay. If we go for 4 lakh debt, then the value of the firm will increase. Okay. And the overall cost of capital is decreased from 14 percentage to 13.7 percentage. Okay. Suppose if we increase, still we increase debt from 4 lakh to 6 lakh. Again, just compare the value of the firm 2142 to 2137. So it decreases the value of the firm. But it increased the overall cost of capital from 14 to 14.04. Okay. If we go for above 4 lakh, then the value of the firm is declining. Okay. So that uh, here the conclusion is this approach that is uh, according to this view, the uses of debt up to a certain point is advantageous. It can help to reduce the overall cost of capital. And increase the value of the firm. Okay. So the 4 lakh, 4 lakh debt option is best. Because it increases the value of the firm. And decreases the overall cost of capital. Okay. So this is the way to solve traditional approach method. You can find the playlist link in the description box for the other models. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.